Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at January 12th through January 18. Unfortunately, the star cast for this week is focused on two planets that don't have the best reputations in the solar system. The first one is Mars, the planet of energy, action and stamina and passion. On Monday, January 12, Mars leaves rational Aquarius and moves into the emotional waters of Pisces, your second house of self-esteem and self-worth, where it gets into an aggressive square-off with Saturn in Sagittarius, your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. Trying to do anything productive under the influence of this Mars in conflict with Saturn is like trying to swim weighed down with weights, like Houdini trying to escape with all the weights wrapped around him. Because these two planets have a reputation as the bad guys of the zodiac, it's no surprise that our fortunes don't improve when they're making war with each other. The redeeming part of this aspect is that Mars and Saturn are both in the type of zodiac signs, Pisces and Sagittarius, that are adaptable and make changes easily. This lucky break can lessen your frustration level if you can go with the flow, Aquarius. You can always row your boat in the other direction when Mars moves on and the tide changes, which is early next week. Later next week, Mercury goes out of phase in your sign and there is a super new moon in your sign. It's a very interesting double-edged sword uh, reading for you next week, Aquarius. Make sure you tune in because, of course, the sun is moving into your sign and Mercury's moving out, and we've also got that supercharged new moon. So all of which you'll want to hear about. Now for you, Aquarius, Mercury and Venus remain in your sign, the two daily day-to-day -day planets, the planets that have the most influence, I guess, on us because they affect us on a day-to-day -day level. Now Mercury retrograde is never good. It means that whatever can go wrong will go wrong. Mercury, Murphy's law is in full effect. So know that tying up loose ends, signing documents, if you want to lease or rent or buy something, do it this weekend. Get it over and done with. Because the longer you leave it and the closer you get to Mercury retrograde, you will regret not having done it sooner. Mercury retrograde is kind of when you know, and if everything that can go wrong will go wrong, as in your car, all of a sudden your brand new car just doesn't want to start or it wants to stop all the time or the new refrigerator you bought or the new computer you bought is a lemon. A lot of lemon stuff goes on and I think it's really difficult to go into uh, a store and say, you know, I bought it while Mercury was retrograde and it's not working because believe me, I've tried and they look at me like I have three heads. And I try to explain, you know, I said it was my fault I bought it when Mercury is retrograde. Well, that doesn't get me a new computer. So really take all of that on board. It's better to be safe than sorry. But you've still got great planetary aspects. Venus is still in your sign. And with Mars in your second house of money and self-worth, this is actually a great time for you to start making more money and working out how to make even more as 2015 progresses. Thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to telling you more next week Aquarius.